still in business. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has announced over 177 billion on claim dividends as at end of last year and has urged all stakeholders to continue to work towards reducing the volume of unclaimed dividends. Briefing journalists on the outcome of the Capital Market Committee meeting held on Thursday, the Director General, Securities and Exchange Commission, Lamido Yuguda, I beg your pardon, said that the Commission is working with the registrars to ensure that dividends are distributed electronically through the banking system. Against the backdrop of the global macroeconomic instability and despite the proliferation of illicit activities, in the market. The Nigerian capital market successfully pulled through with the stock market being ranked among the best performing in this first half of 2022. The Commission reiterated its commitment to continue to strive and fulfill its mandate of protecting investors and creating an enabling environment for market operations. Number of unclaimed dividends, you know, that we have as at the end of last year was about 177 billion so unfortunately this was an increase over the number at the end of 2020 uh, at the end of 2020 we had about 168 you know billion so that uh this this this, this are the numbers what has the commission really been doing uh, about unclaimed dividends the Commission has done a lot, you know, about uh, unclaimed dividends. One, you know, in terms of um, really working with the registrars, okay, to ensure that dividends are now distributed electronically through the banking accounts of uh, investors rather than through dividend warrants that uh, used to be the case you know i mean the commission it walks through a variety you know of sanctions and the capital market operators know that so we just said that whoever uh, is frustrating the e-dividend mandate management system you know uh, in t uh, will, will actually face uh, the commission's sanctions Yuguda also noted the Commission will be launching the revised master plan submitted to the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning by the Capital Market Master Plan Implementation Council. On Monday, 27th of June 2002, the Capital Market Master Plan Implementation Council, CAMIC, submitted the revised Nigerian Capital Market Master Plan 2021 to 2025 to the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning. The Commission will be launching the revised master plan at the next CMC meeting in November 2022. We, as we said, this uh, master plan will be uh, presented at the next uh, CMC meeting. But es essentially what has happened with the revised master plan is that uh, the master plan is a 10-year document. Uh, it was launched in 2015. Now you'll agree with me that between 2015 and now, a lot of things have actually changed. A lot of the assumptions used in designing the first master plan, you know, have actually changed. So this midterm review was just an attempt to make sure that the assumptions that really uh, should be relevant for the next five years are used okay and that the structure of the capital market and the corporate world okay uh, as we know it today has also significantly changed from what it was in 2015 so it is all these new things that have been actually put into the revised master plan to make it more relevant and to really uh, you know allow the commission to realize the goals you know of the capital master plan you know i mean as quickly you know uh, as possible as part of our efforts to stem the tide of fraudulent activities of unregistered investment crowdfunding platforms the commission warned the operators of such platforms that they stand the risk of being prosecuted the commission has an existing regulatory framework that permits private companies with the required structure and mechanism to raise capital from the public through crowdfunding. Been working with other agencies you know, of the government in terms of really reducing 
the access of Ponzi schemes to the advertising uh, platforms that we have, whether it is on the internet, okay, uh, whether it is in print media or in electronic media, the radio and television, okay. Uh, this is really very, very important because Ponzi schemes are really a cancer on the capital market. A lot of money has been lost and I think it is really unacceptable that we continue to have uh, these kinds of, you know, I mean, investment losses uh, by, you know, by, 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 by people. The Commission, however, reiterated its commitment to continue to strive and fulfill its mandate of protecting investors and creating an enabling environment for market operations. The Nigerian